Let's go to page 118, section 1.7. Now let's look at number six. This section we are talking about absolute value. For absolute value of x is equal to 14. Absolute value is very easy, okay? If you don't know how to solve absolute value, follow my three steps, okay? So let me show you an example over here, okay? Just follow the three steps. Example. If you have absolute value, any number equal, absolute value, okay, absolute value, let me erase that, absolute value equal to a number. Step one, you're going to separate into two different equations, put two equal sign. Step two, equation on the left, equation on the left, always equal to the negative number. So whatever that number is, you just put a negative sign. Equation on the left, always equal to a positive number. Okay, step three, okay, step three, let me write this down, step three. Step three, okay, whatever's inside the absolute value, doesn't matter how many number, always go into the left hand side of each equation you have two equations so always go into the left hand side of each equation so that's how you solve the absolute value equation so let's go back to our problem so here step one we're going to separate into two different equations step two equation on the left equal to a negative number i have negative 14 equation on the right is equal to a positive number so it'll be a positive 14. Step three, whatever's inside the absolute value, I always go into the left-hand side of each equation. So that's my answer. So my, my x is equal to negative 14. My x is also equal to positive 14. Number 10. We have absolute value of x minus 5 is equal to 13. It's equal to 13. So step one, separate into two different equations. Step two, equation on the left equal to negative 13, negative number, equation on the right equal to positive 13. Step three, while inside the absolute value, always go into the left-hand side of each equation. So for this, you just set it up. Now you have to solve the equation. So let's, get, let's go to the left-hand side, the equation on the left, okay? Let's get rid of the negative five, so plus five, plus five. So my x is equal to negative a. Okay, equation on the right over here, plus five, plus five. So my x is equal to 18. Next, let's look at number 14. Number 14, absolute value of five x minus one is equal to 21. Step one, separate into two different equations, draw two equal sign. Step two, equation on the left equal to a negative number, so it'll be negative 21. Equation on the right equal to a positive number, so it'll be a positive 21. Next, whatever's inside the absolute value, always going to the left-hand side of each equation. Okay, now let's look at equation on the left. So here, we're going to take away, get rid of the minus one, so we're going to do plus one, plus one. So 5x is equal to negative 20. Now let's get rid of the 5, so divide everything by 5. So my x is equal to negative 4. Equation on the right, let's get rid of the negative 1 also. So plus 1 plus 1. So here, 5x is equal to 22. Divide everything by 5. So my x equal to 22 over 5. Now. Let's look at number 20. Number 20, we have absolute value of 40 minus 1 over 3x is equal to 8. So step 1, I'm going to separate into two different equations. Step 2, equation on the left equal to a negative number, equation on the right equal to a positive number. Step 3, whatever's inside the absolute value always going to the left-hand side of each equation. Now let's look at equation on the left. Let's get rid of the 14. So minus 14 minus 14. 
So negative 1 over 3x is equal to negative 22. After that, let's get rid of the denominator. My denominator is 3, so I go multiply by 3. So here I can cancel out my denominator, no more fraction. So I have a negative 1x is equal to negative 66. After that, let's get rid of the negative 1. So divide by negative 1, so x is equal to positive 66. Now equation on the right. Let's get rid of the 14 also. Minus 14, minus 14. Over here, we have negative 1 over 3x is equal to negative 6. Okay, let's get rid of my denominator. This time, I also want to get rid of, get rid of the negative sign. So I go multiply by negative 3. So you can see, my 3 and 3 cancels out. Also, the negative and the negative cancels out. So no more negative numbers. So I have an x is equal to 18. Now let's look at number 24. Number 24. Here we have absolute value of 2 over 3x minus 1 is equal to 5. So step 1, we're going to separate into two different equations. Equation on the left equal to negative number. Equation on the right is equal to a positive number. Step three, whatever is inside the absolute value, I always go into the left-hand side of each equation. And let's look at equation on the left. Let's get rid of the negative one. So plus one, plus one. So two over three x is equal to negative four. After that, let's get rid of my denominator. My denominator is three, so I go multiply three. So the three and the bottom three cancels out. So I have 2x is equal to negative 12. After that, let's get rid of the 2. So my x is equal to negative 6. Equation on the right, let's get rid of the negative 1 plus 1 plus 1. So 2 over 3x is equal to 6. Let's get rid of my denominator. My denominator 3, so I go multiply 3. So here, cancel my denominator, no more fraction. So I have 2x is equal to 18 and after that divide everything by 2 so my x is equal to 9.